Welcome back. Bovine respiratory disease costs the beef industry as much as $900 million annually. For many ranchers, the battle with BRD is compounded by the weather. And for cattlemen and women in the northern states, where winter comes quickly and lasts for months, rapid identification and treatment are critical to the sustainability of their operation. For more on the weapons one family uses in the fight against BRD, we join Cattlemen and Cattlemen reporter Matt Fleck in South Dakota. Passing the family operation down across the generations is something that's important to almost every rancher. Fourth generation cattleman Jim Kerstead has made many changes to his family ranch over the years. All of them, including how he manages BRD, are designed to ensure the operation is successful for years to come. I'm a fourth generation rancher and farmer. Where the feedlot's located at, I'd be about two and a half miles away from uh, the spot where my great-grandfather homesteaded. It's the original home of my grandparents and parents, and currently my son has just moved there, and his wife and children live there. So now there's five generations of the family that have lived and operated right there at that original ranch site. We're a little bit unique to this area. Uh, in 1985, we dispersed our cow herd and built a finishing yard and converted to a yearling operation. and. We run it that way for 20 years. Most recently, we've just converted back to a cow-calf operation. And our biggest uh, problem is still probably respiratory disease on, you know, on these cattle. And, and it seems like no matter what we do, we, you know, it, it's, it's there and it's probably always going to be there. For Jim, the experience managing both a feedlot and a cow-calf operation has given him a unique perspective on cattle management. It has also meant a change in how he selects his cattle. There's only one other finishing yard in western South Dakota, and it has been a, a very learning thing to be able to bring these calves from, you know, from birth to finish. Uh, and, and it probably is one of the things that I enjoy most is, is watching those calves, you know, go through the different phases of the, you know, of their production. We're really striving to try to produce, you know, high quality cattle. And, it, you know, it can be pretty challenging to do. We presently are still buying some outside cattle and finishing them, but for sure our primary focus is on developing and, and growing our our cow herd and we are we're using a lot of the latest technology to do that uh, we're DNA in all of our bulls and and DNA in our replacement heifers and I think it's really a good thing to do the one thing that it's kind of caused us uh, is to actually grow a little bit slower but I think when it's all said and done we will probably you know have a better you know much better herd than what we would have had if we wouldn't have used that that technology it isn't just the introduction of DNA technology that has allowed Kerstead Cattle Company to grow and be successful. A strong business plan and committed family have all played a role in making the operation what it is today. We operate about 60,000 acres, a half of which is farmland and half of which is ranch land. And I have two younger brothers that uh, manage the farming enterprise. I manage the uh, cattle side of the enterprise. I have an older brother who is a commodity broker and he tries to keep a handle on the risk management for us. And currently my son, Ryan, has just recently moved home and he'd be the first of that generation to, you know, come back into the operation. Despite the successes of the Kerstead family, there are also challenges. The weather can be tough and the conditions can pose a threat to herd health, creating the perfect environment for outbreaks of bovine respiratory disease, or BRD. As the operator of both a feedlot and a cow-calf operation, Jim works hard to reduce outbreaks and minimize the problem. On the feed yard, I'd say the biggest thing we try to do is control the environment and, and you know, control mud in the pens. I feel like the mud's probably been the biggest issue, you know, causing problems for us. And so we, we, we have large pens with big mounds on them. We spend a lot of time scraping and cleaning, you know, cleaning those mounds, trying to keep those calves a dry place to lay. Out here on the ranch, we've done an enormous amount of cross fencing and, and put in a lot of water lines to try to keep these cattle split up and into smaller bunches. Then we rotate 
state pastures, you know, they're seldom in a pasture for more than 30 days. And and those kind of things seem like to us, they've helped a great deal. The, it seems like maybe one of the things that's been the most challenging out here the last few years has just been fly control, which is which has really been a big deal. It seems like it bunches these cattle up and, and during those dry years, we just had an enormous amount of dust and I think led to a lot of, you know, respiratory problems late in the you know summer early in the fall welcome back we return now to south dakota and reporter matt fleck for more on how the churstad family works to keep their animals healthy in all kinds of weather when outbreaks of brd do occur working with a veterinarian to rapidly identify and provide proper treatment are the keys to getting an animal back on track you have to remember that, that calves take time to heal and the antibiotics in there are trying to reduce the bacterial populations and then the calf has to overcome the infection. Now if we don't set up a situation where the calf can heal and so we put additional pressures on it, that calf's not going to respond as well and so it keeps going downhill. So what we want when we want a therapeutic agent is we want a product that gets to very high levels very rapidly and stays for a very long period of time to actually protect against secondary infections, not that primary infection, but secondary infection that a calf might get. There's no question in our mind that right now Zuprivo is the fastest acting uh, at one out there and and you know where we used to evaluate from day to day now we literally evaluate from you know from a.m. to p.m. I mean we'll seldom treat a calf in the morning that's not that's not you know back at the bunk light and eating and really really rather hard to tell that he was you know sick in the a.m. and same thing in the p.m. you know I mean if we treat a calf in the p.m. he's usually back to the bunk and going in the a.m. that ability to give a single shot and t take the calf back to his home pen and and really not have to worry about him is has really really saved us an enormous amount of time. The fast acting nature of Zuprivo is among the reasons it has become the BRD treatment of choice for many cattlemen and women in South Dakota. Zuprivo gives me quick results. Uh, we don't have to wait days. Clients that use it call me back in the afternoon saying that their cattle are already looking better. In this country, the low dose is pretty important to these guys. They don't like having to handle a large amount of volume. When it's cold out, we like that Zuprivo is very syringable. Uh, it has a broad spectrum and we just have really good luck with it here. We have a lot of people want to use low dose treatment products that are first and foremost very effective but also um, also have a, a broad spectrum of activity and and when we first started talking with our with producers about the product they, they really liked the fact that it was a 1cc per 100 pounds and, and once they started using it, the first thing come back to us was they, they could see the results. So they really like that it works quick and then it stays with them for a while too. So it gives some extended protection so they can kind of go on to doing their other things. The low dose and fast acting nature of Zuprivo means producers get rapid results, allowing them to get back to the business of running the ranch. You really have to have adequate concentrations in, in the lung tissue. That's, that's the, the primary mission of the antibiotic. And in Zuprivo's case, it was an antibiotic designed for BRD therapy specifically. And by eliminating those bugs out of that lungs, we're causing less inflammation, which results in less tissue damage. And that, that is a key component of a, of a good speedy recovery. When we first started out and you were treating those calves for three to five days and you'd you know you'd have pulls and they would start stacking on top of themselves i mean you're you've cut that you know that treatment time by five six times literally so it, it's it's just it's changed it enormously you know for us i don't know that i've sat down and tried to put a you know an actual dollar value to it but i know it's it's been quite a savings whether on pasture or in the feedlot faster recovery equals healthier faster growing calves and a better shot at money in the pocket for the rancher in Quinn, South Dakota, I'm Matt Fleck, reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. For more on how you can protect your operation's bottom line and win the battle against BRD, visit the website merc-animal-health-usa.com to learn about how Zaprivo can help you protect your herd.